If you're anything like me, you've got a lot of things and not enough places to put it. Well, I love organization and storage. And today we're gonna make a rolling clothing rack. We're gonna start out with a four by eight sheet of plywood, which I already went and ripped it down. My 24 inches are over here. This is six feet. This is gonna be our back or center support. This is gonna be our base. But before the stain, I'm using a conditioner which evens out the stain and absorbs into the wood that much nicer. It's a lot easier to stain everything and put it together and do touch-ups than to actually have to try to cut in and get all the angles when the piece is put together. Getting ready to put it all together now. Always want to use some glue for reinforcement purposes. So all I have to do is flip it up, get it into position with clamps and jig. Secure it, pin it, and screw it. All right, our top and our bottoms are secure, or our base. Now I'm gonna trim it out, keep going with the wood theme. I'm gonna work from the bottom to the top to make sure that we get a really nice fit with everything. So our first measurement will be side to side here. So time to put in the casters, and we wanna make sure that we use at least one caster with a break. But I need to make sure that when the break is released and I position my caster as it swings around that this piece doesn't impede with anything here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I've already figured it out. My measurement is four inches so that I'm clearing there and I'm clearing there as I come around. So I've got a little scab piece here to give us just a little bit more strength with our casters. Hex nut bolt with the washer on the front. Our caster goes in place. And just enough for the nylon nut to thread on and have enough meat to grab onto. We're on to the part that I am most excited about, which is actually the plumbing. You can find this plumbing in galvanized or cast iron, but sometimes you don't find all the unions in the same kind of metal. So make an executive decision. I had to do it here. The whole trick to this is deciding what dimensions you want. I knew I wanted 36 inches in the center, and then I've got coupling at the top, a two-way coupling in the middle with a 12-incher, a 6-inch, and a 12-incher, another different kind of a four-way Way, and then we're gonna go down with 12, 2, 6, and 12. But this all hinges on and rests on these. They're just plumbing flanges. You just put it together to the dimensions that you want. The standoffs here are 12 inch pipes against a flange with the four way. Now we have to attach the flanges to a three quarter piece of wood and I can't screw right into it because it's not enough meat. So we're gonna put a little piece of wood right in between it to give us a little bit more so that I can use inch and a quarter screws as opposed to little three quarter screws. Now here's the only real trick to putting all of this plumbing together. These center pieces, when you thread on one side, they automatically unthread on the other side. So what you have to do is thread it into one side all the way down until it's no longer able to twist and then you're gonna position the other side and twist it back half so that both sides are now threaded with half of the threads and you're all set. All right, so we've got all of our pieces together on this side. Now we gotta finish the other side. So what I was thinking is, let's do two more shelves or two more support systems for shelves. So then we've got something on both sides, something like one about here and one right about there. Now for our shelving, there we go. They fit right in between. It's pretty perfect. And to make sure they don't fall off, got these little U-clips, pipe clamps. We're just gonna screw them in from underneath and they won't fall off.
And there you have it, a very easy Carpentry 101 project with all butt joints and very simple straight cuts. A project you can customize and have your very own rolling clothing rack.